Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. Never install these programs that I'm going to talk about in this video ever on your computer. Don't do it. Don't do it if you love your computer. There are security risks involved. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Some programs come pre-installed, some may not. Whatever the case may be, you're going to want to make sure that these programs are not in your computer. Number one, we have QuickTime and QuickTime is a is Apple's video player, which is a, still a current program on Mac OS, like, you know, Mac OS computers. Uh, the company hasn't supported the Windows version since 2016, shortly after Apple announced the deprecation of QuickTime for Windows. Trend Micro announced that the software had a few critical vulnerabilities since Apple will never patch these. It is not safe to have QuickTime installed anymore. Number two, CC Cleaner. CC Cleaner was once was once a trusted Windows app for cleaning junk, your trash in your computer. But its reputation went downhill after it acquired it was acquired by Avas, right? Uh, you know, past issues include forced updates without permission. You know, we don't like those. We want to be able to push the button and data collection that enabled itself. Even if you disabled the function and the software distributing malware unknowingly, uh, when it was looked at, you know, CC cleaner in 2020, it was found that it had cleaned up its act, but it still was largely unnecessary. Okay. Number three crappy trash pc cleaners so many people have installed or accidentally installed a pc cleaning app at some point trying to be cheap the majority of these products range from useless to harmful as registered cleaners don't improve the performance of windows at all so if you find garbage like my clean pc or pc optimizer pro in the list of your installed apps you need to remove them asap okay uh before i proceed please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Next, we have uTorrent. And uTorrent was once considered the gold standard of torrenting software. However, it's had a host of issues over the years that make it untrustworthy now. Aside from having apps crammed into the interface, uTorrent also includes offers for other software tools, which is annoying. Its worst offense came in 2015 when the app was found to bundle in cryptocurrency mining software without letting users know. Again, do you see the trend here, guys? These apps, they be doing things without you guys knowing. Those kinds of apps, get rid of them. Number five, Adobe Flash Player and Shockwave Player. Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported by Adobe or browsers as of January 2021. Though it's blocked in all modern browsers now, you should still uninstall local copies of Flash. This will keep you safe from any future security issues since Adobe isn't updating it anymore. Uh, number six, Java is another media runtime. It also includes two components. Like I said, one, two components. Uh, Java on the desktop and the Java plugin for browsers, which is notorious for having security problems. Though it was once fairly common, very few websites now use it nowadays. At the time of writing, uh, W3 text shows it's, that it's a fraction of 1% of websites use Java. Number seven, Microsoft Silverlight. And Silverlight is a web framework similar to Adobe Flash that once enabled rich media content in your browser. Years ago, these plugins were necessary on a lot of websites, but now they are deprecated and no longer useful. Looking at, you know, W3 three texts again, we'll see that around 0.02% of websites use civil light. Uh, you know, number eight, all toolbars and junk browser extensions. That is another gold mine for security risk is junk browser extensions. So when you're wondering what else to uninstall in your PC, another obvious candidate is junk on your browser. So while toolbars were once a far more prevalent problem, modern versions of Chrome and other browsers have thankfully fought back and mostly eradicated them. Okay. You're also going to want to delete that coupon printer for Windows thing. Uh, you know, because again, look, guys, you're going to want to remove junk always and always remove unnecessary programs. Stop being cheap. Any, any program that you don't use and is not trusted, right? Delete them. But that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Also, please let me know your opinion. Is there something that I said that you feel is false or you disagree with? Uh, you think you think I put something that is not really the case? Please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, stay safe. See you on the next video.